Hey everyone, uh, just a quick video today. Um, dropped my daughter off at piano lesson. I'm going nearby to a local uh, park and historical farm. Gonna do some quick sketching of some animals there. Uh, do a little quick video of some sketching, a little excursion there. So just a quick video today, but come along with me as I go to Cedar Rock Park and Historical Farm. Here we are entering the park. And this is a little gym in Burlington, North Carolina. It's a, a bunch of acreage. They have water, a waterfall, um, hiking trails, uh, recreation areas, but they also have a beautiful uh, historical farm here with the original homestead and uh, a house and some of the other structures from back in the back in the late 1800s when it was a, a working farm. getting ready to approach the historical farm part here. This is where the animals are. I'm going to get out and sketch here for just a few minutes. I don't have much time today. And there you see it over there. There's the historical farm. What's up fellas? These guys are very interested in what I'm doing. They keep coming around at my feet while I'm trying to sketch them and they won't hold still. Another challenge for sketching animals on location. As you can see, this is what we're dealing with. I usually just grab a like a 4B and a 6B pencil. Just allows me to get some nice darks um, when I'm sketching. I'm sorry that's not focusing very well. But um, I just started, you can see I just started with some rough quick outlines as fast as I could. Here's a sheep. They have some sheep they had just sheared. <laughs> so he's real skinny. Uh, and here's a goat I'm working on. But uh, I'm going to try to keep fill in some details with the pencil before these guys run away. Looks like they're starting to vacate the field. So I'm going to try to get these down quick. Alright guys, the sheep the sheep left me. So uh, the sheared sheep left me. So uh, just trying to get in quick little details before he left. This is mostly from memory, so we didn't get much of him down before he left. Uh, this goat started to get him down and he left as well, so that's the breaks when you're paint, uh, painting or sketching animals live. So uh, it's good practice though. I encourage you to get out and sketch with your sketchbook, uh, pen, pencil. Lots of times all I keep is a pencil and a sketchbook in a bag. Um, these obviously are not going to be finished, uh, saleable paintings or drawings you're going to do. They're just to keep your hand in practice. And these were done in about five minutes each really quick uh, before the animals took off. So hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll get a little bit more in depth and we'll bring out our paints and do uh, a finished landscape. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.